What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by. Hey, today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, as you can tell, we're not in Bernie's garage or we're not on a ride. I'm actually on my way to the airport to pick up a good friend of mine, Elton, who also goes by the name of Wheel Talk. Uh, you can kind of check out his channel. I'll have it as a link in the description below. I'll also put a graphic up on the screen so you can kind of see uh, his channel and, and what he does. Um, I've known Elton only for a couple of years now. Uh, when I got back into BMX and uh, started, you know, customizing bikes and, and doing different things, um, saw these ride outs saw that they were even happening on Oahu and decided, man, I gotta check, I gotta check these guys out. And so, uh, found Elton on Instagram first, I think. Um, and then started watching his videos, reached out to him, and he's just one of the nicest guys that I've ever met in the whole bike life scene. Um, all my stuff is flying all over the place. On our first ride, John and I, uh, my friend from Oahu, went out to Magic Island and Elton loaned me some bikes, Elton and Polly, shout out to Polly. Um, loaned me some bikes and got to ride with them and just, Elton is one of the nicest guys that I know. He is just filled with 100% of just positive vibes. I mean, there is nobody that I know that is as positive uh, all the time, uh, other than Elton. And um, it's been a pleasure getting to know him over the last couple of years. We've hung out uh, a little bit, went on a bunch of rides. He took me to my very first BMX track that I've ever been on in, in over 40 years out in uh, Sand Island. And um, freaking loved every minute of that. And, you know, that's just the kind of guy that he is. He, you know, he knew as he got to know more about me and, and found out about my uh, BMX kind of like history, uh, he, he made sure that that ride happened. So I could kind of check out this, this BMX track that's sadly been kind of abandoned. Um, but that was a really special ride. I, I just enjoyed being back on a track again. There's probably no way that I'm ever going to race <laughs> Again, I know there's things, events like Frogtown and Dirty Knobs that, you know, allow older guys like me to, to, to race. Um, but I'm, I'm not probably in that mindset. I just would love to go and meet some of these guys. But anyway, that's, I'm getting off topic here. Elton is coming out to Kauai for uh, a couple of days. Uh, I invited him out here. Um, I, I told him he and Polly they have a standing uh, invitation. Anytime they want to come out and ride, I got the bikes. All they got to do is make it out here. And so this is my fall break. Uh, if you don't know, uh, I'm a teacher during the day and we have our fall break this week. And so I, I hit up Elton and I was like, hey, you know, any chance you want to come out? And today is also Bernie's only day off. And so uh, I'm going to pick Elton up. Probably going to go pick up some lunch. And I don't know, maybe do some stuff at the house. Uh, take a look at some of the bikes we have. He can decide which one he wants to ride. Uh, I do have to make some brake adjustments on the Supercross uh, before we do any rides today. And then later on today, we are actually going to go out on, on a ride with Bernie. So that'd be cool. Bernie's going to stop by the house and uh, we'll jump in a truck and then probably make our way to the bike path in Kapa. If you've seen any of our videos in the past, I'll link one of the, the previous bike path videos up there if you want to check out another one. But that's kind of the plan today. So we're just going to kind of, you know, have have lunch, hang out. Um, I was hoping to, to film something with Bernie in his garage, but you know, he's super busy, man. And it's hard to just, you know, for him to give up his whole entire day off to kind of do stuff and film. And so I'm just stoked that Bernie's gonna be able to ride today 
and so we're going to be able to ride with him later on so that'll be our, our chance to hang out together uh, this week and then next week is probably when we'll get back on the Supercross by the time this video comes out you'll have you might have already seen our disaster of a of a second video for the race inc and just the problems we had with that half link chain for some reason um we were just not successful and so um bernie went out and picked up a shadow conspiracy chain breaker which we hope is going to solve the problem of just being able to cut that chain uh, and put it back together a little more easily um, just because of the ways the links are are kind of um, done and so um, anyway that's the race ink is coming the next race ink video will be coming and hopefully we'll be able to get it done by then we hope to have the rims and stuff in in stock uh, the actual rims and maybe we'll be able to finish the video but we'll see but anyway Elton's Elton should be here he texted me a few minutes ago that the plane landed and I'm on my way to pick him up and you know if you don't know who Elton is this is this video is gonna give you a good idea of, of who he is and what kind of person he is and his you know just all the stuff that he contributes to bike life um, you know it's kind of like the plan too is today is to also show you who he is and um, get to know him if you don't know him if you're from Hawaii and you are out there on bikes you definitely know who he is but if you're uh, one of our viewers from the mainland um, then for sure this is a chance for you to kind of meet this awesome guy and there he is Ooh, what's, what's up? up what's up oh. hey I had to make them nice for you bro thank you thank you <laughs> what a short guys. What a short guy. <laughs> Hi, you brother. Aloha. Aloha, aloha. Yeah, you. Hey, that was nice. I, I can handle this kind of airport. <laughs> <laughs> Small kind. Yeah, you Small kind. Small kind. Out. Easy. Oh. Anyway, I'm doing a short video. Okay. If you don't mind, Mike can just yeah. turn that on. Can do, can do. How's it, everybody? <laughs> oh, that was so, nice. I've been just been telling everybody that this is our chance to kind of get to know you a little bit better for the guys on the mainland who yeah. don't know who you are and stuff. Because uh, pretty much everybody in Hawaii knows who you are. A little bit. It's all kind. <laughs> on the island of Oahu. Yes. <laughs> How's it, mainland? How's it? <laughs> so, good flight? Easy flight? Easy flight. 20 like, minutes. 20 minutes. It was like riding a school bus. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, once I got you TSA, you know, and then all the anxiety levels went down. <laughs> oh, you don't like to travel so much. Oh, just the beginning part, the, the, beginning. the whole frisky and searching yeah, the thing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What I've done is um, I do the, I, I paid for that TSA pre mm. thing where it's like 80 bucks, I think, but it's like for five years and you can skip all the lines. You know they have a special separate line for you to go into and it's way easier um, you don't have to take off your shoes you can use a different machine that doesn't like make you stand up and spin and so that one's been pretty good the fast pass fast pass fast pass Jeez. i love it you know as soon as i walked in when, you know, off the plane not, not already heard the chickens i was like i'm here <laughs> this is yeah. it you go Big Island, you can hear frogs at night. You yes, come right Kauai, now. you can hear chickens. And you can see tons of chickens. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I feel at home already. Chickens, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Ah. So I'll figure we can drop your stuff off. Mm -hmm. Maybe go grab some lunch. Yes. And then um, kind of hang out a little bit, kind of talk about um, some stuff. Because I'm sure you want to film some things this weekend or this not Absolutely. this weekend but these couple days too so we can kind of talk about what kind of stuff you want to film so uh, elton has his channel we'll talk and um, tons and tons of different kinds of stuff i mean you've been doing this for such a long time right like how long has your channel been active hmm. with intent to vlog and whatnot uh, i would say 2019 covid basically 2019 yeah 
but I ain't I had my account since 2007, I believe. Holy yeah, smokes. So I, get, I have some videos from back then, but yeah. you know. Different kinds of stuff, right? Yeah, but I just didn't know what YouTube would have become, you know. Mm. For me, well, at that time, it was just a place to store footage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it wasn't definitely like it is now. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you, you had a very interesting mix of, of the kinds of videos that people were putting up on YouTube. And it's totally not like what it is now. Yeah. So, but wow, 2007, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, so imagine if we had put in that time and effort back then right. already. Yeah. Oh, you'd that's be one right. of the OGs right now. You'd yeah. be, oh man. Mm -hmm. So describe, like, what, what, what's the best description for your channel? Like, when, if people who don't know and, like, guys, like I said, are on the mainland or in another country that, that might be watching, like, what, how would you describe your channel and the stuff that you do? I would say anything that involves wheels. You know, mm, whether, yeah. which is the whole wheel talk. Yeah, yeah. Keeping it wheel. I mean, that's my passion: cars, bicycles, skateboards. Mm. Just yeah, all with an emphasis on wheels. Nice. Because definitely the 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 bike life community is is something that you've been a part of for a while. Yeah. And you were riding bikes even way before the whole BMX thing. The big BMX thing was out there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much my whole life. So. Yeah, it was just because of uh, with COVID. That's how uh, you know the channel started out with uh, bike riding. That was mm -hmm. our way out. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Outside, yeah. Yep. So nice. that's why that initially everything was about bike bike riding, getting mm -hmm. outside, getting outside. Yeah. 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 But now, kind of stoked about uh, you know getting back into the car scene. Ah, uh, yes, and yeah. we'll definitely talk about that. Mm. Well, this is our main drag. This is, is our it? Rice Street. So, um, kind of like this used to be one of the, well, even back in the day, this was kind of like the main street. A lot of the um, plantation managers and all the rich guys all had houses along this, kind of like along this street. Really? Back in the day. Because what you folks still have the the plantation structure, you know, say the the, the houses, mill. Um, the the mills are, are kind of like kind of gone. Um, mm. There's a well, well, I can show you like there's a mill that we can pass, uh, but it's basically become a homeless camp. <laughs> really, it's just yeah, it's kind of sad. Um, all the mills are all shut down, uh, but some of them are still like some of the buildings are still intact, uh, but nothing's. They're, they're not being used. Um, so yeah, we used to have mills in Lihui, we had Koloa, Kekaha, but everything's all shut down. They tore down most of the Lihui one. Koloa, they, they filmed that movie, um, Hob, was it Hobbs and Shaw? Where, I don't know if you saw that one, where The Rock mm, okay, okay. goes home to, supposed to be Samoa and he enlists the help of his family to you know fight these guys that are after him oh, and they use the mill as their <laughs> kind of like their base <laughs> so it was kind of cool it was, it was yeah. fun when they were filming you know the rock was here and people were seeing him and stuff like that but, sightings rock sightings yeah the rock sightings he's actually been here a couple times to film different kinds of film, film different movies they did the jungle cruise um, nearby too they, they took this um, kind of like a lake pondish thing and they just they made it that whole they yeah. built the whole set and everything hey good thing I watch your videos I kind of have a sense of uh, yeah so know? I usually go, you know like I've come down here that is a way to go to Bernie's house yeah go down there so Bernie's house is like two minutes from here um, this is our county building where yeah. our mayor and stuff are, are all in why am I thinking how a pancake spot around here? Used to be. Ah. Yeah, used to be. Like, um, see? What's the name of that place? Coming Egbert's. back to uh, Used to be Egbert's. Was a was an old breakfast kind of yeah, place. It was like yeah, it was right there. Where, right where that um, market is. Okay. Um, that's taken on a bunch of different, like, businesses since then. But yeah, Egbert's used to be there. 
Uh, so I'm dating myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. When yeah. the last time I was here? Because well, how long ago was that? I want to say '96. In '96. Wow. Yeah. yeah. There's been some changes. But this yeah. is on the way to my school too. So I've done rides in which. I think that the the ride that we did with um, to the fish pond was through here. Yeah, yeah, with the two other friends. Yeah. yeah. One of those guys, Roland, oh, he is all full on into it now. Like, he came out, he didn't really have a bike. He rode the, I think he rode the Monza. And he might have had, like, an SE, but he wasn't really doing much with it, you know? And then he came out, he rode with us, he went back, he bought a race ink. Oh, jeez. And then he's just been, like... That's all in already. Right. He's, <laughs> he's all in now, so he's... He, customized all kinds of parts on it he's going out on rides shooting all kinds of stuff on his instagram oh, so nice. it's been kind of cool but yeah this is our mall <laughs> the, the, mall, mall. Yeah. the the one and only it's kind of sad because most of it's empty but i shouldn't say most of it but there's there's some empty spaces there where are we? I mean, it's like, so are this we is, North Shore? No, this, so we're in East. So East is, we're in Lihui. So oh, yeah. Lihui kind of stretches from, from Hanamaulu or Hanamalu, yeah. um, which is close to the airport, all the way out to here. This is kind of like, we're heading into like Puhi now. So this is where my school is. And this is kind of where we have the community college. Mm -hmm. um, but Lihue is kind of our central location on the island. Everything pretty much, there's a lot of businesses and jobs that are located in Lihue. So um, people will drive in and out all the time. But yeah, here's my school back in there. And wow, it's busy today. I don't know why there's so many cars out there, but something's going on. We got the YMCA, they have a pool, and then our Filipino Cultural Society hey. built this building for people to, to use for, for their events. And then we got our community college, KCC. Oh, hey, the other KCC. Yeah. Solar farm. I wonder if that's just for the school. Yeah, pretty much just for the school. We have quite a bit of solar farms though here on Koi. We have a hmm. giant one. Uh, on the North Shore um, with full Tesla batteries and, and whatnot and um, that thing's pretty huge but yeah we're gonna we're gonna head into um, an industrial area and this is where it's, where uh, a place called Mark's place okay is located and they're they're known for the plate lunches so pretty much all the all the staples are there. You know, the mixed plates and kalbi and, uh, you know, katsu and whatnot. And usually pretty crowded. Oh, even business. on a day like this? Even this on a side. day like this, you can, yeah. You can, well, you can oh, yeah, well, lunchtime too. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the way we, we also went down for that ride to um, Kipu and to the fish pond. We, we would have gone down the same way. Oh, this is the way? Yeah. We went right down the street. These mountains are beautiful. Yeah. So we can actually go pick up the lunch. Yeah. And then we can go drive down by the harbor, go hang out down there, go eat Please. down there. And you can kind of see some other stuff. And if you want to do this ride tomorrow, we can do that ride tomorrow morning. It's uh, a nice ride. The back there is really, really nice. This is the one with the hill bomb. Yeah, get the hill bomb. Uh, and then we can kind of overlook the, the fish pond that they're renovating and then takes us down to the um, harbor thing that I'm wondering about is what the parking is going to be because they do not have a bunch of parking over there. Yeah, you know, to be honest with you, it's been a while since I even went, you know, any other uh, outer island. Mm. Yeah. So it's just nice, like, oh. Yeah, so you can kind of see they're pretty crowded already. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does it work? Yeah. And they do have parking in the back, but I don't see anything there. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can uh, if I can park by this van. But you guys gotta come out first. 
It's gonna be a tight squeeze. Probably like, oh my god, we got this. All right, so we picked up some lunch from Mark's place. We got the Korean chicken plate. That's kind of like one of the things that they're known yeah, for. Same thing, same thing. Take a look at that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the min menu? No, this is the, like oh, a little okay, regular, okay, okay. regular play lunch. But as well, I'm telling you, like, how much you like eat because. We're gonna be uh Kanak attack after this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, mean, oh, yeah. Oh, I, I eat heavy this morning. <laughs> it's too heavy. <laughs> hey, what is this? It's like a bed of noodles? They get noodles underneath. Get some noodles. So it's get some noodles. What's that's that? that's kinda like what they've done. Yeah. What? So you get your noodles underneath, which comes with every plate lunch. Okay. And then your your main entree, your mac or your um, garden, but you gotta go mac when you yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What, Tabasco on your mac salad? Mmm, I'm not a hot guy. Overall? I don't like hot stuff. Okay. Mm hmm Do you like, you like spicy stuff? Sometimes. I mean, I'm okay if it, you know, if it's not. Yeah. But if I get the option, sriracha, Tabasco on the mac salad kind of. Oh, oh no. Wow. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Thank you, Kev. <Kat. laughs> yeah, their stuff is good. So it's a little after, what, 3.30, 3.41 right now. We are heading to Bernie's house. Uh, first time, yeah, you're gonna meet him. Yeah, yeah, in, you in the flesh. Him, yeah, in the flesh, like, I mean, you've seen him in videos. All the time. I've tried to get him to come to Oahu, but the guy is just too busy. Seed planted. <clears throat> so he's heard all about you. Yeah. <laughs> like boys. You know. So So yeah, we're gonna go to Bernie so that uh Elton can meet him in his garage. Yeah. And we're gonna pick Bernie up and then we're gonna head out to the bike path ride today. Maybe stop for some shave ice. I gotta see where the magic happens. Bernie's garage. <laughs> the magic or the mistakes? <laughs> Not learning experience. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's what it is with us, man. It's like we'll try things out. Yeah. And if they don't work, they don't work. Try some, try something else. Yeah, that's what keeps us tuned in. Seriously, <laughs> you know, everything, the total package. So how long have you been um, doing the big big bike BMX big bike. stuff? Because you were doing, were you on fixies before? Yeah. So before right. the big wheel BMX, yeah. yeah, I was on fixed gear. That was the last thing, freestyle fixed gear. So. And what is the difference? What's what's freestyle mean? Freestyle fixed gear is um, where you actually do tricks on the, oh, okay. on the fixed gear. You okay. Know? Whether it be wheelie. Okay, or, like freestyle BMX, but yeah. like okay. So I mean, really, um, what was it? Volume Bikes, which is a BMX company. Actually, that was the bike that I rode. Was a volume frame. Okay. So just imagine every, you know, Chrome Molly, everything that you would have had on a regular BMX bike, but just on a larger, uh, a larger bike. A, yeah, twenty six inch. Yeah. But that was that was that last uh, the chapter before Big Wheel BMX. So my first bike was the Fat Quad. So that would have been okay. 2021. And then what made you decide to pick that one up versus any other? Because there are tons out there. Mm -hmm. What did you like about the Fat Quad? The Fat Quad, what stirred me to that one was a, a hydraulic brake stop. Oh, and, you know, okay. I guess my bike is a true testament of like, you know, rocking at stock. Mm. Yeah. The, you know, as is factory brakes. You know, everything is just pretty much all original, with the exception of the cranks. Okay. 
the cranks I went for fitment. Yeah, I'm running on 165 millimeter. Smaller cranks. cranks, okay. Yeah. But uh, I just heard good things about the fat quad and uh, having a wider, because uh, that would actually be my first bike that I learned on a wheelie on, you know, as mm. far as a regular BMX, yeah. So <laughs> I needed all the help I could get as far as a wide tire, uh, a small frame, actually. Mm. The fat quad is the smallest, uh, as far as top two goes. Okay. Is the one of the shortest, if anything. How how this. long is that one? You know? I want to say, a little over twenty, guaranteed. Oh. Under like twenty one and under. Yeah. Oh yeah, that yeah. is kind of short for a big big bike. Basically, what it comes down to is, it's like an inch, inch and a half shorter than your big ripper. Oh. Yeah. So as far as dimensions, that was the bike that fit me the best but like you ever found it so it wasn't difficult you know because the fat quad has like the bigger tires mm -hmm. bigger rims which to me i don't know i look at that and i think heavier has did you ever notice was it any any more difficult like trying to do a wheelie on that kind of bike versus one with regular you know smaller tires no well <laughs> the analogy i use is like whether you know balancing on an ice skate versus balancing a foot plant in a work boot mm. yeah so it's all about the balance yeah just having that so it's thing. not so much about like you never really noticed that the the weight was that what i mean is weight even if they i mean i don't know i always not think like the 29 seem like heavy right like i feel like i can pop up i can pop the wheel up on a 26 easier but i don't know if that's just in my head yeah, it's you know it is deceiving. The fat quad is not as heavy as it appears to mm. be. Um, that's one thing. Another thing is the gear ratio that comes on the fat True. quad is on the low end. True. It is definitely like a cruise bike. Just that gear ratio that it comes with. Yeah. It's, it's not for high speed versus mm. a fat uh, big ripper. There he is. Welcome, <laughs> Bernie Elton. Wow. Elton nice Bernie. to see you in the flesh instead of like right watching. Oh yeah, yeah we should see these guys riding. <laughs> Same here. No, right on, right it's on. Mutual. Come on, let's go to the kilo. You wanted to. This guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 That's how I feel today. What was that? Thumbs up. Oh, hi. What's going on today, Bernie? That's how we roll. That's how we, we work roll. Six days a week. I know, yeah. <laughs> This you had yours. time to kind of do your stuff today? Yeah. Great! <laughs> oh. Hi! Okay, okay. Hello, hello. The magic happens. Yeah, that's what I was just <laughs> saying. No kidding. This is it, man. This is real. <laughs> For real, buddy. Yeah. Let's oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can touch and feel, and you can see. Like this is this is what we do. We, yeah. we so I have to put my hand on your shoulder. Like, oh, this yeah, is your... look, right here. Sorry. Like, <laughs> right? As the as the tools we use, right mm. here. The exact one. <laughs> yeah. I know. Thank you. This is our beautiful stand. I don't know how many bikes we build on this thing. And counting. And how yeah. much time we put on that thing? Huh? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know which bike to bust out. I mean, the last ride with our friend from Cali, I brought out the chrome bike. Hmm. Did you want to see that bike too? Yes. This is Hutch, the chrome 26. Yeah. What was it, the Texas recap? He was riding this one? No. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the Texas recap, I think he was riding a chrome one. Oh. I think. I'm not sure. Just remember, unless he has more than one of these. The, the bars, bar. yeah. No, then that was was that one then. But First yeah. twenty nine, yeah. That Hutch. Yeah, I mean yeah. for him. Well, for him, yeah. 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 But yeah, let you look look a little bit room. <laughs> Those tires have. Call that flush. Showing off my moped tires. Your moped hey, tires. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Legit moped, Legit tires. moped tires. Wow, what moped has twenty nine inch rims, huh? That's what we couldn't figure out. I don't know why they say moped on the side though. Well, it is a mobile pedestrian. 
This one is a. Hmm. Ah. This one oh, there. see, no, could have been then, because yeah, he has oh, more yeah, than one. Yeah. yeah. See, I didn't. I don't remember you putting CW bars on both of them. CW. Yeah. I never know you had them on both. That's why I kept saying I love these bars so uh, much. I put them on both. Ah, snap! I never even know you put them I on. I have that a level. whole collection of bars in that hutch over there. Yeah. Mm. The Skyway. Oh yeah. The four piece. Yeah. Monkey bars. Yeah. This bike had plenty bars. <laughs> Until I settled on this. Until those. The style, the rise, the, the sweep, everything. Yeah, for my short frame, like it's so comfortable. If I put on a regular race bar, I feel like I'm like that. Yeah, right, right. And I'm not racing. I ride. Yeah. I like to ride. Yeah. If I was racing, I would have the regular bars. But yeah. So uh, these bars are identical. Are identical. It's the same one. So what kind of height is that? It's like a nine. Yeah, nine, ten. It's gotta be a nine or ten, I yeah, think. Yeah, something. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Those are huge. But Look good though when I see you riding. Yeah, your it, posture. It, that feels so comfortable. It's crazy. If you look at it, it's like, oh, it's like motorbike style. Yeah, yeah. But when you're on it and you're riding, like my cousin likes the, he likes to ride it because it's so comfortable. Mm. I was tripping out. I'm like, oh, and you're on laid back seat post on that one. I. I I never know what's gonna be like that. I mean, 29 for a small guy like me, that's a big bike. Mm. I don't know how you guys wheelie on that thing. <laughs> well, even myself, I don't own a 29. The The largest I have is a 27 half. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know more bougie stuff like Kevin, so. The only thing bougie about this is the frame and fork. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You know? I mean, I had the wheels built, but it's not, you know, it's not, it's just something they had that was affordable. Yeah. And it cost me $12 to get here. Well, nice. You saw that box, right? I saw that box. UPS. I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe how cheap it was at, even at that time. Yeah. Even when shipping was cheaper. I mean. And then to hear. and 29, they both came UPS. And I got charged $12 for it. Oh, and same guys built the, the <laughs> two sets. Yeah. That's why I, I chose those guys. And there's a link in the description? Well, <laughs> I don't know that the shipping is that cheap anymore. Uh, yeah. Because... Back um, when I did. Yeah. Like right now, shipping is ridiculous. It's... Even, you know, the first set of billet pedals cost me... What did I tell you? Like 60 bucks or something, oh. huh? Yeah. No, it was kind of pricey. Yeah, it was like, and then I had to, I, when the next set came around, I was like, hey, can you put this U.S. Postal Service yeah, right. and stick it in like a, you know, like a flat rate box? Because, oh, it was expensive that first set, you know. I joined the Brooks Club, so one get cut out and one no more. Oh, okay. And he claims that those are really comfortable. Yeah, I've well, never, I've never like... Go for it. Who, me? Had a chance to... Okay, okay, okay. Have a set. Yeah, not bad, huh? Yeah. For yeah. a plastic, like... So that's the one without, and try the one with the cutout. Okay, I have to... Yeah, try with the cutout. I, mean, I, I don't know, the guys who have Brooks, they swear by them. They say it's the most, it's the most comfortable seat because it kind of conforms. It does, yeah. You know, <laughs> but... Interesting. I don't know. When I sit on it, I just feel hard plastic. <laughs> you just get one. <laughs> Sensitive to the camera rolling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know. I, you, you, you would be, miles. you'd say something else. Interesting. Tyler gonna give us some words. Well, I think it's this, this the wide fan rear. I think so. But they have different ones. So that's is that the nineteen? I don't know what says on the on the. Uh, yeah, nineteen C nineteen. Yeah, and so, then C seventeen. So the, the 19 is the widest. So that's what the numbers stand for. Get skinnier and Get stuff. Get skinnier and... Um... Even what they're made out of. There's guys that, like we met in Texas that have Brooks, the leather ones. Right. And this one guy told us, oh, if you ever want to break in a seat, like you, um, what did he say? Stick it in a bag. Yeah. And put the conditioner. Put underneath. the conditioner. Yeah. Underneath, not on the top. Underneath, Leave stick it in a Ziploc bag, put them on your dash. Yeah. 
yes, or on the roof of your car for like and let the sun do its yeah, thing a couple days that makes sense though. and then that thing oh just goodness. breaks that thing in. i forget man how dirty this thing is look at all your dust i guess i gotta wash this look at part. that they help you that's how my, i saw mine as we was wiping mine down true yep a good time nah, sir. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. <laughs> we never really had the guts to try a leather one, yeah. No, because the weather. You know. I mean, sometimes you ride in the rainy season and the, you know, the leather gun just get all jacked off. So I figure I might as well be safe. Yeah. Go with that brand, but the vulcanized rubber. Oh, vulcanized rubber. And I don't know. I like it. I mean, I get my cashew max over there. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> a couple times I rode with Kev, I was like, brah. Okay, okay. See, I'm not the only one, bro. Yeah. I rode for a while. You yeah. did. You did. You time. actually did. It was like uh, looks over comfortability. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then it got to a point where, foof. Comfortability, man. Okay. Saw. Yeah, too saw. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, aesthetically speaking, you know, for BMX, this would be the type, uh, you know, that I would rock, you know. As far oh, as yeah. Plastic, back in the know, day. Back in the day, yeah. we all rolled those hard Kashimax seats that were like. Same here. Hard and we didn't care. We didn't complain about our and butts being so well. the uni seat, like the square. Yeah. Yeah. The in the, um, the BMX museum video he has uni seats and i was like oh i remember these because they were so light right because yeah. it because it had the seat plus it was attached to the seat post I think, like taylor guys super light seat. like really really like real short seats you know definitely for racing yeah and he had some in his basement and i was like oh i remember those the attic sprocket attic sprockets oh yeah I, so you did I, watch it i had i did watch it <laughs> i did i I had one actually. Yeah. I had one yellow one. We had so <laughs> there was these plastic. Oh, very, very sprockets. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, they used to, you know, like I remember those when they yeah. came out. Oh, I forgot about that. Man. Yeah, me too. It's like Ashtabula. When I saw that on a on a wall, I was like, oh my god, I remember that. Yeah. He's like, yeah, the attic sprocket. I was like, oh. Good job, bro. He. Yeah, yeah Michael yeah, did yeah, a good yeah. job, huh? He nailed it. I was like, good job, boy. Like he he knew like what we like see when he was like yeah around and stuff. Like, oh, look out. yeah he did a good job yeah so like, that house is the house of bicycles yeah it's crazy that all that stuff is in one house yeah you know it's, it's crazy it's yeah. lucky his landlord don't watch that video <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> oh bro all right let's roll we are out you do that? now on the bike path. Wow. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, this is all you got and not like a whole bunch. No, this is perfect. <laughs> No, I was just jazzed to uh, come ride with you guys out here because it's like my hometown, actually. Oh, like, yeah? I'm from, yeah, I'm from the countryside. Okay. Just that I live town now. Uh huh. Yeah, but this reminds me of home. It's funny, you know, funny. My hometown is Waialua. Okay. You know, yeah. 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 So this reminds me of home, basically. We can go right through here. Yeah. But yeah, we go. Came here for a ride, basically. Hang out. Take you guys on a different experience. That's what it's all about, right? Experience.
So we got the world famous Coco Palms Hotel where Elvis stayed. The, the Elvis Star Hotel. Movie. Yep. I guess my cable came in handy to hear that. <laughs> my little. Oh yeah, yeah, ding ding, huh? Yeah. That's right. So what? It's not doing it. How come? I don't know. Or oh, not just not today. Watch when you go over bumps. Oh, okay, Big okay, bumps, okay. Thing when, like, yeah. I haven't figured out where's the heating. Probably right here. Uh huh. Kind of annoying when you go over like bumps and stuff. Yeah, it's the only place I could see the thing slapping. You know? Yeah. This is where it kind of gets weird. Uh -huh. This is kind of where it gets a little weird because the bike path kind of comes into this back oh. street. What is this over here? This is a coconut marketplace. All kinds of shops. Back in the day, we used to have theater over here. Oh, for real? Yeah. Sorry, come on. Or, yeah. <laughs> or is this one? This is a good place to hide from the rain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. That's the guy. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. Let's check it out. BB's Bourbon Ale House. Coconut Marketplace. I know oh yeah. He came here and it's like, oh man, serene. We gotta go out from the rain. Yeah. Over here in the corner. So sometimes when we do this ride, like there's kind of like a boba, like tea place in here. In this. Um, oh, you stop by. Kind of like in this ABC type yeah. of store, you know. So we'll stop and Island Country Market on the way back or something, you know. We're Dude, I gotta get one piece rubber, like one hose. And I think I'm gonna put them right yeah, there. Yeah, you just need like a little bit of like one windshield wiper hose on vacuum line. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Put yeah, them yeah, right yeah. there. Sanomoto. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had an ice cream truck. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh, ow! <laughs> I gotta adjust my seat later. See, I hit that bump so hard, my seat had moved. <laughs> Chickens! <laughs> wow. This probably is the sketchiest part of this ride. You got cars kind of whizzing by. You don't have a lot of space to ride. And then here's where it kind of opens up again. And I think on the way back, we're gonna go ahead into there for some Wailua shave ice.
It's a little overcast today. Yeah, I don't mind it at all. It does make for a cooler ride. Yep. Sure. I take this kind of weather any time, any day. <laughs> Versus sweating and it's super hot and humid and yeah this kind of made me feel like i have a day off <laughs> nice relax cruise yeah but this is what exactly i seen on you guys videos that i was like i gotta get there I want to, you know, just ride without worrying about a car if it's passing yeah, by. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. That's why I like coming to riding the bike path. You know, it's yeah. nice. You ride by the ocean. There's no traffic. Right. The only traffic you get is oncoming bicyclists, mm. joggers, you know? funny though this ride is shorter than what we normally ride though well not since we if we yeah. start at Lidgate it's a longer ride okay right but yeah a lot of times we'll start at oh, the, that's right we start at the market yeah I see I see yeah right right we're about three miles in right now Try any wheelies yet? No, not yet. Thought about it. <laughs> Charge them. Yeah, I was just holding back with the wind too. <laughs> that spot that we we're going to. Yeah, around that corner was kind of yeah, a lot of wind. So I mean, as far as this being a path, it was always like this. Only recently they like paved it. This what we're riding on is yeah. uh, used to be um. The train King track. Road. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. When they would harvest cane, they would. This is their access road right, right here. here. Yeah. This whole thing. All oh. the way this whole coast. That's what it is. That's yeah. why it connects. Yeah. So basically, they kind of paved the old yeah. King Road. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yep. And you right, probably before the trucks was the train. Hmm. Because they also did uh, pineapple. Okay. Like all this was pineapple fields. Thank you. And then was sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like this right here, you know, they tore down the old bridge and they made this. Nice. Used to be on camp in here. Okay. Kelly up camp. Campgrounds. Yeah. Uh, plantation camp. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get. Yep. This whole thing. All of this. Interesting. So this is Kelly a beach now? Kealia. Kealia. And then heading up that way is towards the North Shore. Okay. Kilauea, Anahola, Kilauea, Hanalei. So we're going to kind of like hug the coast for a bit. <laughs> Look at all these chickens. Yeah, chickens everywhere, bro. Yeah. Beautiful. You like them? Yeah. The, the 
how wide they are. Yeah, or just the option of like be more forward with it or more. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Option. That's right. You can do that. I forgot that bike had the big paddles. Yeah. 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 Me too. <laughs> That's why they pull them out. See the big paddles. Like, oh. <laughs> It's that kind of bike day today. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try. Uh, it's comfy. Yeah. That's a good riding bike that actually. Here you go. I kind of feel like that's real comfortable to ride. Yeah. Just the setup on that bike, you know? Easy to ride, easy to pedal. Yeah, the gear ratio is awesome. Yeah, I like the big pedals too. I kind of just like having more of the my foot feeling a little bit more secure just because it's so wide you know yeah. whether or not that does what they say it does i don't know what did they say a uh, power increase <laughs> yeah <laughs> something like that some sort of a power benefit to having i the know pedals. i would never race bmx with those <laughs> that thing is too big <laughs> That's too big. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost the whole, my whole foot. I don't think I ever came riding this late in the evening on the bike path. Yeah, normally we do this earlier. Yeah. Yeah. This is like our morning ride. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, huh? Hey, thanks, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is a nice escape, huh? Come here, you just relax. Nice. No cars lagging them. Yeah. <laughs> No yeah, sirens, yeah, right? <laughs> no sirens. Yeah, right. Not that much humans. I had no idea that you had the CW bars on both hutches. I don't know why. I never. Yeah. How repeated. did you not notice? I don't know. Like we ride all the time. Yeah, but <laughs> I wouldn't say we ride all the time. Come yeah. on. How many times have we ridden in the last month? But still, I had the same bars on both bikes. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if we hardly ride or we ride. It's like, you know. How did I not notice that? I don't know. I thought it was only on this bike. Well, it started on this bike. Yeah. No, it's, I remember it on this bike. Yeah. But I never remembered it on the 26. I don't know why. Yeah, because I kept saying, oh, I try to get these bars off a of guru, but they don't want them in stock. That's right. Yeah, I remember you saying that. So I went on eBay, paid a little bit more money, and got the same bars. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. Now put your foot down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kawhi red dirt at his best. This is more, more orange than red. Or maybe because I got my sunglasses on. Uh, what happened? What was this? So this is the place I was telling you. See all the pineapples in the... Um, oh. So they would reverse the train, and dump all the rubbish into the ocean. Yeah. And then just let it get carried End up away. Somewhere. Somewhere down. End up down <laughs> yeah. the middle. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. It depends where the current. I mean, I don't know the current flow here at SI. I'm assuming it goes that way. Well, I don't know. It's crazy. Something to imagine, like, yeah, how did you... Oh, I guess it was on a bend, just like how it is now. Yeah. 
the track, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. even know. I mean, yeah, there's a hill right there. Yep. Interesting. Pretty cool, huh? Right. Oh, rubbish. Yep. All the pineapple cores and skins and whatnot. So would it would that been uh was that Del Monte goal or the or in Whoever. I don't know. I don't even know. It I might say know. on the sign. Yeah. yeah, there's a sign over there we can read that kind of explains, like, what it, who, who you know. Who is yeah, 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 yeah. Who the yeah, guy? Yeah. Who that I guy? I this idea. Right? <laughs> right? Is that it right here? You let go? Nah. I'd rather calm down instead of go to Ottawa. We'll give Elton a full tour. Full tour. Full tour of duty. Where this road ends. Ugh. Yeah, that's me tomorrow going work. Yup. Bro, I get kind of jealous when I ride into work and no motor school traffic. It's like, man, it's so not fair. Oh, I'm glad we never go down the trail camp. I thought we was at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you thought that was the way you thought that was the end of it? I thought it was the end. Oh, not reason. quite. We didn't even, did we even pass the tunnel of trees? Yeah, we never yet. We never yet. We still got a ways to go, my man. The beach is right here. I don't know. So, when I was growing up, they called them Donkey Beach. Donkey Beach. Donkey Beach. Or oh, Naked Beach. Yeah, you could like, had, used to have like a lot of guys would go skinny dipping or like just be naked on but the beach. This day and age, the clothing optional beach yeah, yeah, is yeah. Larson's. Is what? Larson's. Oh, Larson's. Yeah. So behind Zuckerberg's place. Uh, yeah. I want to say like it's with the act, like before you never have this easy access to the beach. So it was, was much safer to be naked on the beach. Yeah. But uh, nowadays, yeah, no. Nowadays, you get oh, here's busted. Here's that tunnel of trees. You know, you ever you saw that video I came down? That was a good one, Kev. This is kind of a cool video to do, you know. You got to kind of go up into this. We could try to go out, Bernie. We go. We go. Might be a little bit dark. Bro, this is cool. <laughs> Bro, I'm not even gonna be able to make it. Oh my god, this thing is steep. <laughs> oh, oh, let's me. go. Oh. Slowing down. If my legs cramp up. Slowing dude. down. <sighs> Bro. We good. Oh, I need well, along this trail. Well, we're going all the way. Oh, might as well. Yeah, but now you gotta wait. I gotta wait. We should go in front. We should stay here. Because. Yeah, but then we gotta wait for them to go all the way down. They're waiting for us. Yeah, we just go back down. Okay, okay. hope you guys filming this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just when you get to the end, slow down. So you don't go flying into somebody. You know what? Maybe I do this too. Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's on again. Raja hat. Bro, it's pretty <laughs> dark in there. How's the geese? <laughs> you heard my brakes. Oh. <laughs> hey, oh. all the way down, bro. All the way down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was pretty gnarly. I was one handed going all the way down. Yeah. I tell you what, I had burned my brakes, guarantee. Probably on blue line. Bro, I wanted to go all the way up because I wanted to use bathroom up there. Oh. But I had the guys with the dog. I know, because I, so I the reason I decided we should go down, because then if they come in front of us, we got to wait till they go all the way to the bottom. Yeah. I think they were just like me. Like, if get humans around their dogs, uh. you know, they're going to get all nuts, yeah. I respect that. Oh, it looks like they trimmed the bushes. Wow. Oh. Oh, no, that's a different... Is that the same trail? Yeah, yeah. that is, yeah? As. We'll go down there. Okay. So this is pretty much... That's the end. And there's a way that you could go further into trails and... But you see all the grass? Yeah. That kind of day. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go down this grass instead. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I think I'm gonna use batch on the same place I went the last time over there. Going. Okay. Uh, oh, for real? Like this kind of trail? Yay! Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Hey! Oh. <laughs> this bug I was like drifting. Oop. <laughs> wow, look at this. You guys, hammers. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh! I never like smashed my pedals on the rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. Once you get this seat in the right position, yeah. it's not sore anymore. Like coming up here was in the wrong position. Oh, that bugger was sore. <laughs> but now oh, it's good. like yeah. Oh, good. Smiling again. Oh. <laughs> Brada, smiling, cherry, cherry. Wow. That's pretty cool. We should stop so right over now. Here. We're on our return trip to the truck at Lidgate Park, but hopefully you guys can catch this uh, sunset behind us in all pink. Hey, you know?
It's beautiful. Yeah, so basically this was a seven mile ride, one way. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're just talking about colors. Interesting. Especially right out there, look. Nice, huh? Wonder if the rest of the islands look like this. that post with it. Oh, you, uh, I was looking at the sun at the sunset too. Not paying attention. Yeah. You would have cleaned out your camera. Okay. Oh! Oh man, that's not good.
That's not good. Oh. Shoot. I don't know what had happened. It just... Let's see what happened. The top of the camera had definitely scratched, but I don't know. So right now we're pulling up to Wailua Shea Ice, Kauai. Treat ourselves to some Shea Ice, huh? Yeah, Bernie, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you want to enjoy Okay, okay. Let's check it out. How are we doing? How are we doing? There it is. Oh. So, are you guys going to ride again tomorrow? Yeah, I would think so. I don't know. Either, either. Real fruit. Either kipu or like. Okay. So, first initial thoughts. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Like, okay. good, right? like no other? What was that? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I've never had anything like so it. We went inside and he goes, so, so what you normally get? Rainbow. Mm -hmm. Like, no, this is not that kind of a place. <laughs> they, you can get a rainbow. Yeah, yeah. You know, but no, this is way better. I mean, down, the, down to the ice is flavor too, yeah. Yeah, it's like um, pineapple juice. Yeah. That's <laughs> like coming, like coming to this place. Yeah. The best to me is the halpia foam. Oh, this is not whipped cream. No, it's halpia. <laughs> <laughs> Learn me how, huh? You learned something tonight. Yeah. You learned that next time you come to Kauai, you come in. Yeah. You gotta eat it. Yeah. No matter what time. You gotta try that boba tea stuff. Hmm. Oh, they get plenty of that on wall. Bigger than that one ABC store. The same time. They know more this. Oh, you're going for it too, huh? Oh, we're halfway done. That's his venom. I believe. <laughs> Never turn down play rice. Right. Oh. Really? <laughs> you might as well because you're in the neighborhood. So why would you not want to come? My wife will be. Sometimes she'll be like, "I go play rice. Let's drive out there just so that we can eat it." Yeah. Thank you. But I normally wouldn't eat shea rice. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because normally it's it's the whole everything is sugar, yeah, syrup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, like everything is malolo syrup. Well, malolo, huh? I said luau. <laughs> yeah, but when you show me the ingredients, like okay, I'm in. No, nah, these guys are pretty legit. They make all their stuff. <laughs> there you go, guys. Wailua, shave ice. Gotta try. Highly recommended.